Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about the urea cycle and it's also known as the ornithine cycle. So we know already from a few previous videos I've made uh, ammonia is toxic to the human body and the urea cycle uh, is available to convert this toxic ammonia into urea and the urea is to be removed from the body. So the urea cycle is what does this and the, the urea cycle takes place primarily in the liver and to a lesser extent in the kidneys. Now the urea cycle consists of five reactions, the first two of which are occurring in the mitochondria and the next three occur in the cytosol. So here we have these uh, mitochondria reactions we have here on the left. So we have um, the initial ammonia with a carbonate ion with two ATP to form carbon oil phosphate, phosphate, two ATP and one inorganic phosphate. And the enzyme to catalyze this reaction is carbon oil phosphate synthetase one or CPS one. The next stage is uh, also another reaction occurring in the mitochondria. It's the carbon oil phosphate plus ornithine and this gives citrulline and one inorganic phosphate. And the enzyme to catalyze this reaction is transcarbon oilies. Now going forward from here we have uh, the next few reactions which occur in the cytosol. So we have a, the citrulline produced here and then the cycle continues here. So we have the formation of arginosucinate uh, using aspartate and ATP and then this is catalyzed by arginosucinate synthetase. Then we have the formation of arginine um, and then fumarate is also released and this is catalyzed by arginine or succinate lyase and then we have arginine to form L-ornithine with urea produced also and this is uh, catalyzed by arginase 1 and then the cycle can continue because this ornithine is also used um, well combined with carbon oil phosphate to synthesize more citrulline using the enzyme ornithine transcarbamolase. So the overall reaction, we can summarize it into the following. We have uh, ammonia plus carbon dioxide that provides the carbonate. Aspartate plus 3 ATP and 2 H2O gives urea, fumarate, 2 ATP, 2 phosphate, it's 2 inorganic phosphates, 1 AMP and 1 pyrophosphate. And we can summarize this reaction to 2 uh, ammonia, 1 carbon dioxide, 3 ATP, H2O to give urea, 2 ADP, Four, uh, four inorganic phosphates and one AMP and we can summarize it to this extent because the fumarate is obtained by removing ammonia from aspartate which occurs in the reaction here and uh, the two inorganic phosphates are formed from the addition of water to pyrophosphate all right so that's everything I want to discuss in this video on the urea cycle I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching